So after that abysmal failure of trying to anodize, um, we did drop the pH meter in the solution. And what I think happened is there is a calibration hole here. And I think some of the um, uh, acid solution got in and did number on the PCB because right now it is essentially completely broken. It just says 188 at any time. Uh, kind of fades <laughs> as well <laughs> so it's it's definitely broken in some big way uh, we heard some fizzing going on inside the pH meter so uh, let's take it apart see if it's uh, repairable or at least see how it works well I definitely definitively broke it uh, there is a um, little glass bulb here with a pin in it uh, this is the sensor part I don't know how this works uh, but I broke the glass bulb, so I think uh, this is uh, this is now not functional anymore. Uh, I'm very confused how this works. I always thought that pH meters worked by looking at the conductivity of an aqueous solution, but this glass bulb is definitely doing something different. Uh, anyway, the um, PCB. There's this this thing that actually comes out with the batteries in, which seems to be fine. Uh, and then the PCB itself is lodged in the casing. So I don't think this is repairable. I don't think you can easily slide it out. So I think I will have to break open the casing. And now that it's basically permanently broken, I can do that. Well, that's surprisingly boring. <laughs> it's just a single chip. It's a single chip solution. It says ph, ph tester.cn, which is apparently the manufacturer of this chip. Uh, it's got the LCD. It's got a couple of passives and an LM358. Um, and on the back, it does have a lot of footprints for stuff, but nothing actually on it. And it's got the adjustment pot and clearly, like the actual Tesla just goes directly to a pin on the microcontroller. This pin has been lifted and manually soldered uh, pretty badly, but it, it kind of kind of fits. It's been heat shrunk, so it's kind of okay. So uh, apparently all the magic is actually in the uh, pH meter bulb or whatever it is. And uh, I guess the acid solution coming in, the only thing it really did is simply make stuff wet. I think if I just uh, dried it, it uh, would have worked again. So kind of a, a waste, <laughs> I would say, uh, but it was only a couple of euros. So it's okay. Um, interesting to see that there's actually a custom pH meter chip and that it's apparently uh, worth it to just make custom silicon for this. Or maybe it's just a microcontroller with a uh, hard-coded uh, program in it. But yeah, that's it. It's, it's a really simple device, as you would expect for such a low price. Well, hope you liked the video, even though it was kind of a failure. Uh, see you next time.